アシトの戦いまでで貴様のパワーや技は完全に把握した一番肝心なことを調べ忘れてしまったらしいなおめえらの負けだはい、I'm Rob Cram and today we're taking a look at the pyramid developed Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection which is a compilation game featuring the 2002 PS3 and GameCube release of Dragon Ball Z Budokai and the 2004 release Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Sadly number two has been omitted for whatever reason which might upset a few core fans. The game offers spruced up visuals and even remix music to battle alongside in a package that's squarely aimed at fans. Looking at both games as a whole, it's clear the fighting game's simplistic approach makes for two very accessible games, although Budokai 3 has a slight edge in terms of how the game is structured. The original offers a story mode where cutscenes are viewed, followed by a fight, rounded off with another cutscene, and so on. Good for some entertainment, but a bit lacking in actual playing. However, it's a chance to play with various characters through the basics of a familiar story and one worth living through with some sort of control. Budokai 3 ramps up the story aspect by allowing for one of several starting characters to be selected, followed by an open map to fly around, hunt for cash and new skills, and get into fights. This is a more interactive story mode with RPG elements that works well and is a big improvement over the original. The fighting remains faithful to the originals, with big power moves being possible, massive combos, and devastating scene smashing attacks. Although there's preference with the more refined counter attacking architecture in Budokai 3. Both games use the skills and key system during fights, which can be customized pre fight to suit players' preferences. There's a fair bit to unlock in this regard, with many extras thrown in, like diminishing health for both fighters in certain modes, makes for some twists on the basic challenge. If you're all about pitting the game's leading characters against each other, then both games deliver tournament, practice, and versus modes. Sadly, there's no online play here. But neither had the originals. It might have been nice to have seen an online community, but isn't something that's missed when all is said and done. The HD collection has updated the visuals, although the simplistic nature of the characters and the stages do show their age a bit, despite the touch up. There's some quality sharpness, which is great, but a lack of detail overall makes for a game which might be in keeping with its anime roots. Could look so much better had it been given a complete overhaul. Audio is a contentious issue in the sense that some tracks have been remixed, which might annoy purists. However, the upbeat nature of the music seems fitting to the source material, which features plenty of drama, lots of shaking, and an abundance of shouting. There's an option to switch voices from English to Japanese in Budokai 3, which is a welcome inclusion. In this regard, expect lots of reading subtitles, especially in the first game, which by default is set to Japanese language. With no online mode and some extras which offer a distraction from the main modes as a whole package, there's a reasonable amount of fighting for your buck, although it's natural gamers will have their preferences out of the two games on offer. If you're a fan of the older games, then this is well worth checking out. And if you're new, then this makes a solid introduction to the series. However, as fighting games go, and by today's standards, there's a lack of features, although Budokai 3 has the most options for players. If Dragon Ball Z doesn't appeal, then it's likely this game won't either. It's got some great fan service, but as a whole, doesn't stand up to more popular peers, not mentioning any names here. Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection is fun and accessible fighter, dripping with unique character, and therefore scores 7.5 out of 10. I'm Rob Cram, thanks for watching.